Nobody will recognize Nigeria when Tinubu completes the remaining seven years. Senate President Godwin Okbabio. <laughs> In his latest comedy like address, Okbabio on Tuesday told Nigerians not to worry about the challenges facing Nigeria, but only pray for the success of Tinubu's administration saying it will pay off in the next seven years. This will not make you understand that these people, they have nothing to offer. Small picking when go quick waka as they crawl, now you they understand. You understand? These governments don't still fail again as they don't still fail before. The Senate President, Godwin Okbabio, in another public gaff on Tuesday, said nobody will recognize Nigeria again by the time President Bola Tinobu completes his seven years in office, obviously gifting the, the letter a second term. I don't understand. So you see, they don't already planned their second term already. You get. See this one when we day here, his first term, he never finished Shamu, and this very one and nothing to tell him about yet. They don't ready strategize you know, another four years. Okbabio weeks ago had said the old Nigerian national anthem was responsible for heightened banditry and insecurity in the country. In his latest comedy like address, Okbabio on Tuesday told Nigerians not to worry about the challenges facing Nigeria, but only pray for the success of Tinubu's administration, saying it would pay off in the next seven years. Speaking during the flag off of the Kumbo Bors Terminal in Abuja on Tuesday, Senator Kwabio said, I have no doubt that by the time the president is true with his tenor in the, in, in the country seven years from today, many people will not recognize FCT. They will not recognize Nigeria again. So all I can say is, let us continue to pray for him and be hopeful that the challenges you are you see today, tomorrow we'll see them no more. He did it in Lagos, and today Lagos is one of the best, one of the largest economies in Africa. When we are talking about cities on the project, the lawmaker said, This is for me, another major wonder of President Bola Ame Tinubu's administration. This is a way to cater to, to a city of this nature. This is a way to cater to the people of the area, councils, the FCT residents, and visitors alike. Okbabio, who also assaults President Tunubu for picking former River State Governor Yeson Wiki as the FCT minister, further said, So I believe that you are a square peg in a square hole. And I must thank the president for having the eyes to pinpoint those who can perform and bring them. Una they see una leaders. This one's been a leader. <laughs> but of course, even in Tinubu's one year in office, we don't recognize Nigeria again. We have graduated from a hungry people to a starving people. It's a true talk. You understand? Because even now, this Nigeria is not recognizable. With the Tinubu's renewed hopelessness and the next level of misery for the great majority, may, prov may providence forbid that Nigeria en endures this much longer. With the rate of suicide and mental illness, more so in Lagos, Tinubu and Okbabu might be the only two people left to enjoy Tinubu's heaven on earth. When the time comes, with Tinubu's regime, Nigerians are living on borrowed time. There is a general funera hanging in the air. Okbabu talks as if there will be no elections. Well, he cannot play God. He is just disillusioner. Okbabu is, however, right to state that Nigeria will be unrecognizable after Tinubu's misru and economic plunder of Nigeria. On that, I agreed in total with him. You understand? He's laughing at you. I mean, Okbabio, he knows 
you know, your prayer is nothing without action. He sees the effect of our prayers and feelings since 1958. They are now laughing at us. We need to change to action. PDP, APC, they are all corrupt. Well, Nigerians, uh, as you can see now, the Senate president have already told you that President Bola Metinubu have already won its second term, even if election has not been conducted. Now they get INEC, and then get judiciary, they know how they, they play their games. So for him to say this, they will say, you yeah, have you know me. This means a lot. This speaks, in fact, you know, say they say when person they happy, now they talk a mind. When person they 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 angry, you see they talk a mind. He have already spoken his mind. Nigerians, this is a big deal right now. How can we survive this? Just one year, everywhere don't dry finish. The begging has become something else. Nigerians are now living on borrowing. You understand? Then they tell us to make we endure, make we sacrifice. But now the question is, what are they sacrificing? Their salary is still, you know, they robust every now and then. Nigerians, honestly, there is fire on the mountain. I'm dropping it here, guys. Kindly drop your comments below the comment section. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up. I beg, share this video. Let it go viral. Let Nigerians understand what is going on today in the Nigerian political landscape. Thank you and bye.